Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my <laughs> large lidded milk carton. So I think it might have been last year, maybe the year before I bought you my huge lidded, uh, my huge milk carton that generally was just this one box um, and it opened at the top. Um, this one is sealed at the top but has a lid. So you have all of this to fill with goodies. How amazing is that? So as you can see, this beautiful, beautiful large box can be filled with so many treats. I originally made the first one to fit a medium sized Yankee candle inside. This will still house one. Um, I went more for a party theme with this one. Thought it could add a few more treats or something delicious inside. Let's get on and make it. Now, the downside to this is that you do need two sheets of 12 by 12, two sheets of A4. So it does take a lot of cardstock, but I think it's worth it because it is beautiful. So, we'll start with the base and those two pieces of 12 by 12 that are actually cut down to nine by nine inches. So that'll be actually 23 and a half by 23 centimetres, bizarre I know. So for the inches, we're simply going to score one side at four and eight. But for centimetres, this is going to be your longer side. So the 23 and a half, you're going to score at 10 and a half and 21. We're then going to rotate and we're going to score at three and a half, which will be nine. OK, so we're going to do that with both pieces. So four and eight or on the long side, if you're using centimetres, ten and a half and twenty one. Rotate and score at three and a half, which will be nine. While I'm here, I'm going to score my lid pieces, too, just because it makes sense. So again, two pieces that are nine by seven and a half, OK, which is 23 and a half by 19 and a half. On the long side, we're going to score at four and eight. Fancy that. And then on the short side, we're going to score at half and three which will be one and a half and eight so we'll do that one again so on the long side we're going to score at four and eight which is ten and a half and twenty one and then on the long side sorry the short side we're going to score at half an inch and three inches which is one and a half and eight when you're doing them, make sure that your thin panel is to the same side on both pieces. Because if you end up with it that way round, it kind of doesn't work because then you have nothing to adhere these two pieces together. So make sure that on both the lid and the base, your thin panels are all on the same side. OK, let's get that out of the way. So I'm going to make my base up first, which is this piece. <laughs> OK, so as you guessed, fold, burnish, easy peasy. Not many folds on this one. Fold and burnish those three score lines. Obviously, if you want to put DSP on here, you can. I didn't because it doesn't get seen, really. And then we're going to cut away the bottom panel here. So we're going to cut that away. We're going to cut a small little wedge just in that corner and just a thin one off the top there. And then we're going to cut up this square in the bottom. So you end up with that. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Cut up those. Cut that away. Cut that away. 
and then cut up there. Then we need to put some tear and tape on our panels. So you need to put it on both of them. Again, if you want to use wet glue, you can do. So I like to use a double strip here just because it is a bigger box. And if you're putting like a candle inside, you are going to need a bit of strength to hold it all in place. So throw this on here. And then backing off. And then pop this one, making sure that all my pieces are level, my top and my score line here. And then the same again, take this piece off and then we're going to put this all together. Okay, so there's our box made up. We now need to create the bottom. Now, you're going to have two sides with um, seams, so it's entirely up to you which one you decide is the front and the back. But you simply want to pop two sides in, then the back, and then obviously the last one will be the front. We need to add some adhesive on here. So again, I'm just going to run some tear and tape across here and another one across here and then take the backing off Rolly, rolly and then just make sure that everything's lying flush we're just going to fold that down and then I'm just going to put my hand inside and make sure that that's all stuck down so there's our box base pop that to one side and we'll make up our lid so the very very thin is going to go across the top so I grab my bone folder so we're going to fold and burnish again and then the little one at the top kind of needs to go both ways so you sort of kind of give him a little bit of guidance to go both ways I guess so the little one I'm going to go that way and then I'm just going to guide him back that way just a little. Okay. DSP needs to go on. So I have four panels here that are four and a quarter by three and three quarters or ten by eleven centimetres. And we're just going to pop these on the sides on these large panels here. I'm just going to go along and do that with all four of them. So this, as I said, this is your lid. So get this so pretty DSP. And this is the birthday bonanza. Isn't it cute? Love it, love it. And I was torn. I didn't know which sides to to put on here because I like both of them. I went for balloons. I felt this made the Bermuda Bay pop a little more. So once we've got our DSP on, we need to adhere these panels together just as we did with the base. So all the way from top 
to bottom and then again all the way top to bottom Do the same on this one all the way from top to bottom okay then you need to cut here from the corner to the top of the very small square that's at the top here okay then you need to grab your ruler and your uh, scoring tool and on the outside the opposite side of your adhesive you need to mark halfway across the top so for me it's two inches in centimeters it will be about five we're going to make a small straight line up the top panel then we're going to go from the corner to the mark on both sides okay i'm going to do exactly the same with this one so find the center put a line straight up and then we're going from corner to top from mark to the corner okay now these will automatically bend in when you make your box up anyway but if you want to give them a tiny little bit of encouragement now it won't hurt let's take the backing off here and pop this one on to there again just making sure it's all lined up and then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the base take the backing off and then I'm just going to put these two together as well okay so you can now see that when we come to put this together those pieces that we already creased a little will come together okay and then you end up with your milk bottle top you might just need to give this a little bit of encouragement because obviously it's got extra cardstock just on the inside there these now need to be adhered but what I did find when I did this one was that it came unstuck because there's too much card and too much pressure and so what I did was I cut away some of this so that when it held together it only had um the outside now it had pegs on it all night but it's still not adhering very well so what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to leave these in place and we'll see the difference but what you need to do because obviously i want this sealed so you can either punch some holes in it and use ribbon and just tie it or you can do what i'm doing and I'm going to add my tear and tape across the inside of the piece without the uh, diagonal scoring. Okay, so just on there. Same again on here. And then so you see that will now adhere, but it'll only adhere those two pieces together so we need some tear and tape on here 
so I'm going to pop some on this half of my lid and then the same on the opposite side And now I want some on the inside of the opposite one. So inside of here it's only really because there's so much thickness in there with all the card and obviously it's quite big as well. So I'm popping some in there. So we now have tear and tape on the inside of the straights, the outside opposites, and then the inside opposites. And then you need to go around and take all of the backing off. So work our way all the way round, trying not to get stuck to it because that's going to be the the tendency here. And then again on the inside, I'm going to forget that one. And then my last one is this little one here. And then you need to make sure when you push all this together that it all sits <clears throat> together equally. So you kind of have to make sure it's there, your line straight at the top. And then I am going to go along with my pegs to hold it all in place because I want to decorate it. Now it does fit, it doesn't appear to fit the lid at the base when you first go to put it on but that's just because there's lots to it and it's but I'll, trust me if you just very gently give it a little push uh, once it's actually on whoops I pushed that too far then once it's on you don't really get that gaping I didn't get it on this one at all, so I don't quite know why this one has done it. It's annoying. It doesn't happen to one and then you do a video and it happens, but anyway. <laughs> so to decorate it, I'm using this beautiful So Sentimental bundle. I just love this. These sentiments are fabulous. Um, I've gone with Yummy Licious just because, you know, I'm going to fill them with sweets for Easter or something for the kids because that would be the fun thing to do. So Yummy Licious, I have some scrap white here that I did my previous one on. So I'm just going to go with the same again there and then just clean that stamp and then using the stitched so sweetly dies come on come on these are fantastic too i just love why is everything sitting sticking so i've used this one the little scallopy type one for the sentiment and then i've used this larger one to cut out a coordinating one. So I have Coastal Cabana on this one and I've got, um, come on, come on, come on, come on, Calypso Coral <laughs> for that one. That was all too much Coastal Coral, Coastal Cabana, Calypso Coral, it was just too much for my little brain then. So these fit so nicely in these die cuts. They're just so cute. 
So a quick run through my machine with that one. And then it's very simple, she says. I have a couple of dimensionals on here that go on to this one. Just like that. And then I knocked my other dimensionals down the back of my table earlier so I'm just going to cheat and use this <laughs> for this one because it's still the same thing and I don't want to be wasting anything. So they're on there, backing off because they are still dimensionals even if it's just the edge. Whack this on the front of my box. And then I used the good old Gingham Gala sequins here. And, oh crumbs, I might go with these ones actually. These look nice enough. So I've just added a couple there, a couple onto my lid. And there we have it. Take these pegs off. And there we have my large lidded milk jugs, milk, milk cartons. Goodness me, I think it's a cup of tea time. Thank you for joining me. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.